Test 4. Hello. This is the Cambridge English Movers Practice Listening Test 4. Part 1. Look at Part 1. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. I'm looking for Tom. Can you see him? Is he standing in front of the door? Oh, yes. He's wearing a blue T-shirt. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. Can you see May? Yes, she's in the window on the first floor. The girl with curly brown hair? No, that's her sister. May has straight brown hair. Two. Do you know the man in front of the wall? Do you mean the man who has a dog? Yes, that's him. His name's Paul. Three. And who is the girl in the red dress? The girl who's sitting under a tree reading a book. Yes. Is she your friend? Yes, her name's Daisy. Four. Do you know the girls who are playing with their dolls? I know the bigger one. Her name is Sue. Is she the one with the doll in the pink dress? Yes, that's her. Five. Look, there's my cousin Alex. Is he the one in the window? Yes, that's him. He's wearing a green T-shirt. Look, he's waving at us. Now listen to part one again. One. Can you see May? Yes, she's in the window on the first floor. The girl with curly brown hair? No, that's her sister. May has straight brown hair. Two. Do you know the man in front of the wall? Do you mean the man who has a dog? Yes. That's him. His name's Paul. Three. And who is the girl in the red dress? The girl who's sitting under a tree reading a book. Yes. Is she your friend? Yes, her name's Daisy. Four. Do you know the girls who are playing with their dolls? I know the bigger one. Her name is Sue. Is she the one with the doll in the pink dress? Yes, that's her. Five. Look, there's my cousin Alex. Is he the one in the window? Yes, that's him. He's wearing a green T-shirt. Look, he's waving at us. That is the end of part one. Part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. I work here at the supermarket. Can I ask you some questions? OK. Are you here with your parents? No, I'm here with my aunt. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. 1. How often do you shop here? Every Monday. Do you always come with your aunt? Yes. 2. What are you buying today? Well, we need food for a party. 
Are you buying a cake? Yes, a nice carrot cake. Three. Why do you want to have a party? It's my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Her name is Vicky. Tell her happy birthday. Four. What present did you buy her? I bought her a toy monkey. Does she love animals? Yes, but monkeys are her favourite animal. Five. How many friends did you invite for the party? I invited all her classmates. There are twenty-two children in her class. Have a good time. Thank you. Now listen to part two again. One. How often do you shop here? Every Monday. Do you always come with your aunt? Yes. Two. What are you buying today? Well, we need food for a party. Are you buying a cake? Yes, a nice carrot cake. Three. Why do you want to have a party? It's my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Her name is Vicky. Tell her happy birthday. Four. What present did you buy her? I bought her a toy monkey. Does she love animals? Yes, but monkeys are her favourite animal. Five. How many friends did you invite for the party? I invited all her classmates. There are twenty-two children in her class. Have a good time. Thank you. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Jim is telling his mum about a party and what he and his friends brought for the party. What did each child bring? Hi, Jim. Did your friends like the lemonade you took to Alex's party? But my friends drink orange juice. Oh, so you took that then? Yes, I did. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Lots of children brought drinks. Did they bring juice? Yes, my friend Pat brought juice, but we didn't drink it. I thought you said you all like orange juice. Yes, and banana and apple juice too. But she brought carrot juice. Did Sue bring sweets? I know she loves them. We asked her to bring some, but she didn't. Why? She ate them before she came to the party. She only had a bag with nothing in it. What did your friend May bring? She brought sweets. And don't tell me, like Sue, she ate them. No, she ate a lot of chocolate before she came, so she didn't eat the sweets. Did someone bring a birthday cake? Well, Charlie tried to make a cake, but it wasn't good, so he brought a CD player so we could all dance. That was a nice idea. Yes, but after the party, we didn't feel well. I think it was because of the food. 
And because you all danced a lot. Yes, but it was the ice cream too. Who brought that? Grace went and bought it from a shop because she forgot to bring a cake. Now listen to part three again. Lots of children brought drinks. Did they bring juice? Yes, my friend Pat brought juice, but we didn't drink it. I thought you said you all like orange juice. Yes, and banana and apple juice too, but she brought carrot juice. Did Sue bring sweets? I know she loves them. We asked her to bring some, but she didn't. Why? She ate them before she came to the party. She only had a bag with nothing in it. What did your friend May bring? She brought sweets. And don't tell me, like Sue, she ate them. No, she ate a lot of chocolate before she came, so she didn't eat the sweets. Did someone bring a birthday cake? Well, Charlie tried to make a cake, but it wasn't good, so he brought a CD player so we could all dance. That was a nice idea. Yes, but after the party, we didn't feel well. I think it was because of the food, and because you all danced a lot. Yes, but it was the ice cream too. Who brought that? Grace went and bought it from a shop because she forgot to bring a cake. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. Which animal is Sam's new pet? I have a new pet. Is it a frog? No, it isn't. I wanted a kitten, but I got a rabbit. Do you like it? Yes, it's a good pet. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where does Pat's mother work? Hello, Pat. Where is your mother going? Oh, she's catching the bus to town. She's going to work. Oh, does she work at the cafe next to the library? No, she works at the hospital. She's a doctor. Two. Which photo does Bill's mother like best? Hello, Mum. Which photo do you like best? Let's see. This one of the city at night is nice. Yes, I like that one, and the picture of the lion at the zoo. Yes. Oh, this one is the best. Look, there's a rainbow over the river. And your sister is sitting on a rock. Three. What's the matter with Jill? What's the matter, Jill? Have you got a stomach ache? No, my stomach's fine. Well, are you hot? Have you got a temperature? No, the music was very loud, and now I've got an earache. Four. What can Paul carry? Paul, can you help me? Yes, Miss Green. Can I carry these pens and pencils for you? No, I can put them in my bag. Well, can I help you with these DVDs? I can carry them. Please pick up those books and take them to the library. Okay. Five. Where is the monkey? I can't find my pet monkey. Do you know where it is? Isn't it in the living room? No, and it's not in my bedroom. 
Well, have you looked outside? Oh, there it is. It's climbed on top of the house. Now listen to part four again. One. Where does Pat's mother work? Hello, Pat. Where is your mother going? Oh, she's catching the bus to town. She's going to work. Oh, does she work at the cafe next to the library? No, she works at the hospital. She's a doctor. Two. Which photo does Bill's mother like best? Hello, Mum. Which photo do you like best? Let's see. This one of the city at night is nice. Yes, I like that one, and the picture of the lion at the zoo. Yes. Oh, this one is the best. Look, there's a rainbow over the river, and your sister is sitting on a rock. Three. What's the matter with Jill? What's the matter, Jill? Have you got a stomach ache? No, my stomach's fine. Well, are you hot? Have you got a temperature? No, the music was very loud, and now I've got an earache. Four. What can Paul carry? Paul, can you help me? Yes, Miss Green. Can I carry these pens and pencils for you? No, I can put them in my bag. Well, can I help you with these DVDs? I can carry them. Please pick up those books and take them to the library. Okay. Five. Where is the monkey? I can't find my pet monkey. Do you know where it is? Isn't it in the living room? No, and it's not in my bedroom. Well, have you looked outside? Oh, there it is. It's climbed on top of the house. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. Shall we colour this picture? Okay. Can I colour one of the cups? Yes. Colour the cup in the man's hand blue. Okay. That's a good colour for it. Can you see the blue cup in the man's hand? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Now find the bikes outside the cafe. I see them. There are two big bikes and a small bike. Well, colour the small one green. Okay. Two. Do you want to write something now? Yes, I like writing. Do you see the man who is drinking a cup of tea? Yes, he is sitting next to a woman. Good. I want you to write the word T above him. That's easy. I can spell T. Brilliant. Three. Now, do you see the woman? Who's sitting at the table? Yes, she's wearing a jacket and trousers. That's right. Please colour her jacket purple. Okay, it's very nice.
four. Can I colour the bottle on the table? Yes, it's a bottle of orange juice. Okay, I'm colouring it orange. Very good. Five. Can you see the boys playing with toy helicopters? Oh yes, one helicopter is on the ground. That's right. Colour the one on the ground next to the ball yellow. Okay, now it's a beautiful picture. Now listen to part five again. One. Now find the bikes outside the cafe. I see them. There are two big bikes and a small bike. Well, colour the small one green. Okay. Two. Do you want to write something now? Yes, I like writing. Do you see the man who is drinking a cup of tea? Yes, he is sitting next to a woman. Good. I want you to write the word tea above him. That's easy. I can spell tea. Brilliant. Three. Now, do you see the woman who's sitting at the table? Yes, she's wearing a jacket and trousers. That's right. Please colour her jacket purple. Okay, it's very nice. Four. Can I colour the bottle on the table? Yes, it's a bottle of orange juice. Okay, I'm colouring it orange. Very good. Five. Can you see the boys playing with toy helicopters? Oh yes. One helicopter is on the ground. That's right. Colour the one on the ground next to the ball yellow. Okay. Now it's a beautiful picture. That is the end of the Movers Practice Listening Test for.